Blinched out. We've been through a long couple of weeks with a big hurricane, Irma. Um, messed us up a little bit, threw us back as high schools. But I'm here again at Western High School, one of the high schools that uh, we represent with our HSPN broadcast along with our PTRG Academy and our stealth rating. And we have several student athletes that we're going to talk to today. We're getting ready to roll into your first district game. This is Ethan Rodriguez. And what I have with me today are the impact players for Friday night's game. I'm going to introduce them to you and let them tell you a little bit about themselves. And um, Ethan, um, you know, it's been a long couple weeks. There's been some tough things that we've had to deal with. There's some other even tougher things that you've had to deal with. You want to share that with our with the folks out there? Yes, sir. Um, so like for some of us in the school living around the media area there's a lot of trailer parks around here and as you guys know like a lot of those houses don't survive big hurricanes hurricane andrew messed up a lot of miami in the hurricane in the um trailers that are there and i actually live in a mobile home and there's a few of us on the team that do so you could be waking up sunday morning with no power and you don't even have a home no more so it's amazing it, it really is amazing and you got you guys are okay did your home make it through yeah my home made it through okay good well We've heard some exciting news today, too. You know, you yeah. got the impact player for you student athletes watching and, and college coaches. Ethan being an impact player, you tell them the story. I heard it from Coach uh, Coach Rakovich, but you talk about it. Yeah, so my sophomore year I was ineligible because um, – I didn't. I wasn't doing too well my freshman year. So sophomore year, I didn't play. I got moved up to varsity actually, and I was a varsity starter. But I didn't get to play because I had a 1.7 GPA, and. You know, I worked hard my junior year and I got it up to a 2.8. And now I'm uh, the starting left tackle for Western. And uh, I had a JUCO coach contact me today uh, asking me to be the starting center for uh, Virginia University of Lynchburg. And tell all the kids, tell all the student athletes, parents, and college coaches out there where he saw you. Uh, he saw me on Twitter. on. Uh, as an impact player. <laughs> so there you go. This is it, this is serious stuff. I uh, was telling the young men that there'll be over 12 to 20,000 of you watching this. You know, that's a great story. And student athletes across the nation need to know the importance of what you just talked about. You started slow and you realized that you need to ramp it up. Well, where did you real where, where along the way did you realize that? As soon as I found out, um, I got moved up from JV. I was playing with the big boys now and you know I knew I had to play hard so but then when coach rack told me the day of the game I got moved up and the day of the game he came up and he told me son you're ineligible and you can't play and I practice every day with the team anyway I didn't go home I didn't mess around I practiced with the team every day knowing I wouldn't play on Friday night just to get better and by the grace of God I came out junior year starting right tackle and now I'm starting left tackle that's a great, great accomplishment. That's a, lo that's a great message. The message is to you student athletes out there, especially you young ones and eighth graders. A lot of eighth graders watch this network as well. You got to start strong with your GPAs. Yep. You got to come in with A's and B's, C's don't do anything, D's and F's. As you know, Ethan can tell you, they, they're going to drop you to the ground. So let's turn into game, game week. My goodness, game week. You guys are playing um, three games in less than nine days, physically, mentally. Um, are you guys what, – what did you do when, uh, you know, we had a hurricane, no power? How do you mentally and physically prepare for these this marathon you're getting ready to have? Well, I can talk for my team and myself. Uh, Coach Rack has disciplined us to know, to, enough to know that um, even when we have days off, there's no days off. Um, whether there's a hurricane or not, we stay inside to be safe when we need to. But as soon as we get the chance, we get out, we run, we – run drills, we do stuff like that. We have enough self-discipline to get the job done, no matter how many days we have a practice. Well, there you have it, a wildcat that's ready to roll it out. I know you guys have a 15-week mentality. You're going to jam in a marathon of three games. HSPN Sports is going to cover them all. Uh, Friday, this Friday night, district game. Then Monday is another district game. Yep. And then the following Monday is a non-district game. Yes, but sir. that's that's three games – three four-quarter games at a very high level with these young men that are really striving to make their way to Orlando in a short period of time 
being off of the hurricane with no power, really not being able to eat right, but you heard it from Ethan that they're able to do it because of their mentality, their coach, their head coach has taught them the right things to do at the right time. Ethan, it's great to talk to you and your accomplishments, and I look forward to seeing you in the game and making some big plays that we can call. I hope, I'm looking forward to it, sir.